Wilson Isidore, I absolutely love you. Um, Joe, you know that was it was a very, very game of fine margins in a lot of ways. Um, I felt whole. I think we can. T I think I've also so quickly assess it. By the way, um, there was a problem with me ticket getting in, so I didn't get into the game until probably about the 11th minute or 10th or 11th minute or something along those lines. Uh, so I didn't manage to see the first 10 minutes. So I can't. Everything I'm commenting about is from the like the 11th, 12th minute onwards. In the first half, I thought Sunderland were pretty good. It's a typical cliche. In between both boxes, they were good. But once we got into the final third, I felt like we were trying to walk the ball in a little bit too much, where we were taking an extra couple of passes when we went, as Patrick Roberts in particular, who I really rate technically as a player, I've mentioned this before, but he was able to get down the byline, get into the box, and was in a good position to either cross it to someone or shoot, and he kept on trying to do the fancy stuff a little bit too much, and that's something that does need to be worked on. Um, and in the first half, up and, and it's not just Roberts, by the way, in general we were like that, we tried to walk the ball in and it was... It wasn't the type of, based on the What The Fault pod, I know I keep mentioning them, but they honestly are one of the best Sunderland podcasts for me. Um, so go and subscribe them if you haven't already, or Graham say would, un, would say unsubscribe. But regardless of what, they was, the, the whole lad on there talked really, really well and said that basically Hull's game plan is to go out and attack. They don't think much about defending. They don't think much about, you know, having much cover at the other end. They like to try and go for it. And I, I was surprised how whole little Hull did that. Whether that's because we didn't let them, I don't know. But I was expecting a little bit more from Hull than from a going forward point of view. Um, in the first half anyway. I thought Sunderland controlled enough of the game, but without, be, without creating anything too great or clear-cut. Then we get to the second half, and I think Hull started the second half 10 minutes pretty decently. But again, I think it was a bit similar to Sunderland in the first half, where up to the final third, they looked like they could do cause some damage. And to be fair to them, they had the best chance of the game for me up at that point, where I can't remember who it was had the shot, but we hit, they hit the woodwork from inside the box, I think. Bear in mind, that was at the other side of the ground, so I was in the away end. So, um, you know, the, we managed to weather that sort of storm a little bit, if you like, uh, and we were kind of defending, and it was going to be a game where one goal was probably going to decide it either way. And then it's a typical classic counter-attacking goal. Um, we launched the ball forward from the set-piece, or the aftermath of the set-piece. I will mention this, Wilson Isidore did outstanding for the goal that he scored. What he had to do was, bear in mind, he had to run from almost the halfway line, cross their half into the box, had to, had to, um, was cut, had to cut inside once and maybe twice, and then managed to keep his composure. I was just saying to me, maybe Pete, outside the game outside the ground after the game the composure he showed for the finish was really really good and it start. I know what I, I wasn't convinced that he was going to be playing up front I thought he might be a wide player and that's why I thought we need another striker but I'll tell you what he's shutting me up and I couldn't be happier for it Wilson Isidore you could tell and I felt for him actually because I felt all game he was working off scraps really but it's that one chance he had run through composed himself and slotted it home and dinked it home really really well but I thought in terms of a general performance perspective I felt like Chris Meffin, for me, was outstanding at the back. And I think that that sort of signing, obviously, like I am going to mention it, the clean sheet did help us win the game. In tight games like that, that's what I mean by clean sheets, by the way. In games like that, when it's going to be decided one way or the other by one goal or another, a clean sheet is massive if you're wanting to get promoted. I'm not saying we definitely will go up. There's still a long way to go. We're only 10 games into the season. There's a lot of football to be played. But those third games are what you can look back on as crucial ones. And regardless of that, you know, all had picked up form before the Norwich 4-0 defeat before the international break. But I will point out again, Chris Metham, what he did, he was composed, calmed everything right down, and that makes a massive difference. And this is where I will admit that sort of experience is what I think people mean. I do believe still that the experience thing does get used to get, get bail, get out of jail free cards for the lads, for the younger lads. But I think in Chris Metham, I think we've made a really, providing he stays consistently fit, we've made a gem of a signing. Um, but anyway, to start to wrap the video up, um, I think... You know, we, yeah, yeah, to start to wrap the video up, sorry, someone's walking past me, I'm using a police van to record, bless them. Um, to start to wrap it up, back top of the league, we've got, we've got, we've got a few hectic midweek games coming up. Luton away, I think, will be very tricky, actually, so I was quite happy with one today. Um, but yeah, I thought Job was a monster in midfield, I thought it was really, really good. Roberts, again, typical Roberts, up until the final third, he was really, really good. Um, but yeah, it's a long way to go, but I love, I love you, Wilson Isidore, <laughs> absolutely love you. And it's a massive win to help with Burnley winning yesterday. So you guys, as you guys know, to finally end the video, uh, if you're watching the video and you're not a regular subscriber and you think I've earned it from you, trying to get a 6K, so if you can hit the like button, subscribe and share the video around, it would mean a lot. And on journey back to the northeast, that's going to be a fun one now. Um, take care, lovely lot, and, and just how we're the lads, back top of the league for the moment. Enjoy it.